Bishop, good to see you again. It's it's been a year since Pope uh, Francis was elected as the as the Holy Father, and I, we remember those days a year ago. What a surprise yeah. that that selection was. What difference do you think that Pope Francis has made in the life of the Church? Well, I think he's brought his own personality to the role of of, uh, of the Supreme Pontiff. He's uh, so affable, so outgoing. All that's made a very great difference with people how they see the Pope and. Uh, He's come with some uh, strong ideas about uh, the relationship of the Holy See to the diocese, the uh, relationship of the, the Pope to the bishops. Uh, I think he's, uh, in time, will make some significant changes in the way we operate. Um, it's coming from, as an outsider really, from outside the, the Curia, have not having worked in Rome, sees things from the diocesan perspective, which is important. It's a different way of looking at things. and. Uh, I think he's uh, going to instill that uh, his mark on the church. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've been to Rome since uh, the Holy Father has been uh, elected. Do you feel a, a sense, a, a difference over there when you walk the halls of the Vatican? Uh, well, I don't know. I was there in last May, so it was kind of early after that. But I, I do think if you could go, I wouldn't be back today. I'm not going back to the fall sometime. Um, there, there's a difference. I think there's a different attitude. In, in the curial offices that now they have a greater responsibility to serve the diocese. Um, that's what he's trying to instill in them. Yeah. And he talks about uh, making sure that we are a church of the poor, for the poor. What does he mean by that? Uh, has a, that, that hasn't quite sunk in yet. Uh, uh, he hasn't quite explained it yet either. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I think he has in his Latin message, I think did go forward. He said originally, I want a ch poor church for the poor. He said in the first apostolic letter uh, that the option for the poor is mainly a theological and not a sociological or economic reality. And then in the Lenten message, he explained it, I think, even better because he said there's really three times, types of poverty. There's material poverty, there's a, a spiritual poverty, and there's a, a moral poverty. So material poverty we understand, spiritual poverty again, again, being uh, poor in spirit or needing uh, the spiritual life. And then the moral poverty is another kind of poverty in our world today. People are deprived, that really don't understand uh, the moral laws mm -hmm. uh, or not even the natural law. So these are the kinds of poverty he wishes us to address. Yeah. How would you contrast the styles of Benedict and Fran? Uh, Benedict was a great pope, uh, a short term actually, and uh, people give him a lot of uh, credit for stepping down when he did. But how would you contrast the two styles of the pope? Well, they're just different. I, you know, certainly Benedict was uh, more reserved as a person, but very warm uh, when you met him. Uh, his public image was less uh, outgoing, but he, he certainly was very kind in his visit to the, to the diocese when he, we had them at least for a few hours back and forth in the airport. So he was a very, very kind, a very understanding, uh, I think. Uh, but uh, Pope Francis has a little more of an outgoing personality, obviously. He's, he's reached people because of this, this uh, Real concern, as he says, for the the margins of society, uh, going down to the uh, Lampedusa and the mm -hmm. outside of Sicily to greet them, the refugees, and <coughs> in Rome, really looking at all of the the poorest people he can find, inviting them in, working with them. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a different emphasis. Yeah. When you see a picture of the two popes together, you know, I mean, that, that's different. It's something we never thought we right. would see. How, how do you feel when you see it? Well, it's, a, it's nice. It's nice to see that, you know, one man has given the responsibility over to another. It happens in diocese. You have a, a, a bishop emeritus and you have a, a bishop who's active. So it's, it's, uh, we're, getting, we're going to get used to it. Uh -huh. Some people criticized the Pope this week. They said that he was uh, forced out. He was forced to resign, which he denied. Uh, yeah, do you no. take him at his word that it was just a matter of... Oh, yeah, of no, no. I, I, he, he was so, so careful. Uh, Benedict would not, uh, you know, he was very careful of what he said and how he said it. What he did, very deliberate. I don't think anybody put pressure on him. Okay. Bishop, thank you so much for being with us.